Yes, and, and I think this is important. Let, let, I want to be clear on bank accounts with the with the existing system because I know this is concerned other people. The short answer is yes. Yes, it will. And why will it? People say, well, hold on a second. Um, uh, a non-interest bearing account means they can still suspend it, take it and whatever. They can do that with a special deposit anyway. And in, in a roundabout way, I'm kind of, you know, I'm kind of uh, sad we potentially went down the road of promoting special deposit because it was the ultimate, but it really was testing uh, what the system should have provided, allowed us to do, and it's not. We're saying in our system that come 21st of December 2012, we, we won't be exchanging their dollars anyway. Their dollars are rendered worthless. So unless they redeem their money system, our money system continues, but their money system is rendered worthless. Um, will they care about that at the moment? No, they'll just laugh. They'll just think that's funny. And, and, and further down the road, it'll become more serious. And we're not talking about collapsing of banks. It's, it's consuming of banks. But given that mind, we're not here to, to have open-ended accounts that will stay in place for 10, 15 years. So if you're setting up an account in order to get your community running or get yourself running, a non-interest bearing account is perfectly fine in the short term for your trust. Yes, that is the answer. All right, that helps a lot, Frank. Thank you. All right, we'll get to a caller here, a sovereign post. Let me get this unmuted. Sovereign post, are you there? Me? Hey, yes. everyone. Okay, they just unmuted me. That's right. Okay, um, I'm I'm from Michigan, and what you're yeah. doing actually is similar to what we've been doing, um, and it kind of blows my mind. Have you ever heard of the uh, jour form of government in America? Are you talking about the uh, the work that Tim Turner's been? Yes. Yes, I'm very familiar with it. What What's your opinion? I, well, first, I think anyone that is involved and has put their neck out is extremely brave, and I commend it. And whilst I didn't fully understand it when it first started, because a lot of people I was uh, working with ended up joining from America, ended up joining the foundation of that very system. Regan Reedy, many, in fact, many of the, the early organisers actually came from Eucadia to that and, and a lot of the words that were used in the foundation documents came directly from Ucadian documents, yeah? Yeah, because actually Michigan ratified our covenant and we've got seven counties settled and we use 13 instead of 12 because you got to have a foreman. Yeah. And then uh, we got 10 more counties about ready to come on and this is going across the whole national. I mean, Florida's way ahead of us but there's all 50 states are already settled, and the national settled, and now we're settling on individual counties. And it's well, I, I see there's a, I see there's, there's tremendous symbiosis in, in the structure there. What I, what I would hope, and I, and I feel in light of the fact that there is a, a, a strand of Eucadia that has been there from the get-go in, in helping this, what you're doing, is that, that people who are involved will see the work that UK is doing in terms of form of law, in terms of currency, uh, in terms of uh, organisation that supports that. The, the only qualification I would say is, is that um, uh, there's a form of law under the de jure of the Republic and there's a particular way that the, the structure is made um, there's no restriction, by the way, in, in using of canon law of Ucada. I mean, if someone subscribes to canon law of Ucada, they subscribe to it. They subscribe to law. I mean, the, the law says you, it doesn't say, you know, you, you can't be part of X, Y, Z. Um, so I hope it supports. But with Ucadia, and I've had this from a number of different groups, they say, you know, will you partner with us? That type of question. Katie is not, not about a partnership, um, nor is it about 
um, you know, creating some kind of great monolithic brand where unless it's UK, it can't be used. So I, I see that the um, du jour in America potentially can um, uh, hopefully uh, subscribe to the canon law that we're developing and subscribe to the kind of uh, reforms in terms of currency that's being done. But I, I, I draw the line, unfortunately, at the idea that it's a partnership of equals. Because if you think about what Eucadia is, what it's saying to be, um, it's a foundation. You can use it as a bedrock, sure, but it's a foundation. See, we're setting I don't know our, if I made myself clear. Sorry. Hmm? We're setting our trust up just like that. It's a. Um, it, it's, it's actually a... Um, Oh, a self-supported ministry trust. Yep. And it still does the EMF or whatever for our state bank. Yep. So it's the same concept where it can't be touched. And I don't Good. know if this verbiage came from you originally or not, but it's kind of interesting that um, I was doing research on A for V and I actually came across uh, you or this mm. uh, and then I'm already into almost this on a state level or a national level, and here you're doing it on a world level. And it's mm -hmm. uh, I didn't know if you were aware of how how large we've gotten and to the point where we're actually dissolving corporations on a state level, and and uh, we've completely reseeded uh, every level of government. And it's... Well Keep keep on keep on going, and and I I know that what we're doing is is as as I said from the very get go, the the setup of the Restore America plan, uh, everything that uh, is involved, Eucadia was and and has always been a big source of knowledge into that, and uh, hopefully remains so for you. Yeah, I I appreciate it because we use actually a lot of your verbiage for documents and a lot of. Uh, um, what you're doing in the courts, we're doing almost the same thing. Um, it, it's very applicable. They're they're like, um, I don't know what to say. They're so similar that mm -hmm. it's obvious that the framework for the Republic was definitely, you know, the bedrock came from Arcadia. So. Well, thanks for calling and thanks for, um, for your comments and pointing out and look forward to your comments in the future. All right, thank you. Yes, thank okay. you. All right, next we have, uh, looks like we have Ron. Question here on the phone. Ron, are you yep. here? Hi, Terry. Hi. 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 Frank, um, in regard to the uh, executor, the appointment of the executor letter for a court case, um, yes. these clerks of the court won't, they won't accept just the letter or the appointment, okay? So I've developed a, a, a real quick way to get it, get that particular document into the court, and it's just basically a notice of appointment, you know, yep. framed in their in their outline, and then the the appointments are uh, annexed as exhibits. So we're we're testing that idea. They are accepting them that way. Good. But I don't think they're keeping them any other way. So I've thought of another idea. Um, I think what we need to do is follow up with a notice of default because they didn't follow the four-day time plan that was inside the executor appointment. Yep. And then hit them with a motion to dismiss based on their dishonor on the executive yep. letter. And then when they fail to do that, do some kind of a writ, a writ of prohibito or something. I'm yeah. just I'm just passing these ideas by you because we don't get to talk very much anymore. <laughs> yeah. Well, Ron, I think it's I, I really appreciate the, I appreciate you and and the work that people are doing in in testing this and making sure that we get this right. You, None of this is supposed to be, you know, one or a group is the fountain of all knowledge. It's about getting it right. So ego is not the issue. It's getting it right. Right. So whatever you're doing, I would love to be able to get a copy of it 
and and have a dialogue with you to see if we can refine it. But I, I have a feeling that the executive path and in fact the steps written up on the notes needs to be cleaned up. So anyone that's coming for the first time or anyone that's been involved can follow what we're now talking about so that there's no confusion. For example, I saw when talking about the revised form of the uh, EDP, I gave an example of four national figures. Of course, not every country has a Secretary of State and I'd use the Minister of Health. So people were getting confused as to, do they just send it to one in, one and CC the others or do they send it to all of them? So I think the same thing applies here. Um, the, the more tested opportunities and remedies there are, the better. And I think it needs the, 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 the more sensible uh, in terms of ensuring they, accept, they must accept it, the better. So in light of that, let's talk offline and let me get a handle on what you're doing and see if we can update the notes and the procedures on Executor. Yeah? Okay. I'll send them to you. Great. Good on you, Ron. Thanks again for what you're doing. Okay. Bye. Thank you, Ron. All right, Frank, uh, we have a question on the chat. Again, I'll go back over there. Um, question regarding Roger Hayes at the British Constitution Group. Uh, someone was wondering what your thoughts are on uh, the group arresting the judge in London. And yeah, look. Communities can do um, a citizen's arrest. The, the power of citizen groups or power of, of, of societies exercising um, their rights of law is, is extremely powerful, extremely powerful. However, just as, as I've been guilty of uh, using controversy to, to make a point, such as the Treaty of Lucifer rather than the Treaty of Divine Masculine and Divine Feminine and, and so on, there was a sensationalism in terms of the arresting of the judge. I, I don't know if, if change comes from the kind of adversarial, almost kind of activist role that you see within the, um, say, the Green Movement or PETA and those sorts of things. Clearly for the media, um, you know, if it bleeds, it leads. If it's shock, it's there. And so that's one way to get the message out. But um, the Birmingham court uh, and, and the arresting the judge turned out to basically be uh, flipped on its ear and the people involved in it are now in a pile of trouble. So at the end of the day, I don't know if it really changed anything other than got a number of people into uh, hot water. So I guess the system is going to resist. It's going to resist to the, to the very, very end. But I used an analogy for someone the other day. Regardless of how corrupt the system is, judges have been used to going to court and they'd be lucky to see one in 50 in terms of defendants that would stand up and even claim their rights. Yes, it'd be the few people say I'm a sovereign and all that, but that's easily handled now for them. But imagine a judge going to work now where the prospect is that they will meet maybe on a given day one, even two competent people that will test them on their knowledge of trust and the, the basic rules. It won't take too long before either the judges resign or have to start doing their job. So competence and honour, I, I still think, uh, and avoiding controversy is the way to go. So that's a long answer, but hopefully that, that, that's my honest opinion. Well, thank you for, for that, Frank. I, I know that's appreciated. Uh, we don't want folks to get into deeper trouble than is necessary as we're moving forward with this. We have a, some phone line questions again. Who knows the truth? Are you there? Yes, hello. Hi. 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 I walked into the room when you made a statement, and I'm not sure if I heard what, uh, if I understood exactly what you said. You mentioned that you cannot go into court as a living man anymore because the judges know how to get around it. Uh, if, if that's true, did you say that, something to that effect? Well, no, you can go into court and do that. 
but yes, the judges have been trained. I mean, I received a document the other day which was somewhere around six years old, which was a brief.